Hello everybody, it's the 4th of June today and uh, I've uh, just gone a bit bonkers on this Japanese wisteria uh, and giving it a good hard cut back again after the last one in the last video um, it's only, even though it's only been a couple of days in between um, but it was already thrown out some quite long shoots as you saw and so I did a little bit of selective pruning chopped out a few pieces that uh, I wasn't happy shortened this branch some more etc and uh, we'll see how well the tree responds over the next few months so the uh, date is the 26th of July and uh, this wisteria has continued to throw out odd shoots and uh, let them grow out a little bit and then trim them back and it's been growing away quite happily and indeed it has now decided that it's time to reward me with another flush of flower which is very kind of it um, when I say a flush it's just the one bloom but I think you'll agree one bloom is better than no blooms at all and uh, it did give me a rather gorgeous show back in the spring so I shouldn't really complain I shall reward it by giving it an extra dose of plant food and uh, who knows and maybe it'll do the same next year as you can see more shoots coming and lots of buds about to break So it's the 15th of September and uh, this Japanese wisteria has well, flowered twice for me this year and uh, unless I'm very much mistaken I have another blossom coming now and uh, let's get you in and look at that okay so if I can just uh, shade out that bit of sun that's just decided to pop through the clouds at the worst possible angle that definitely looks like a flower bud to me um, it's a bit unusual to have a third well i don't think you can really call one flush uh, one flower a, a flush of flower but certainly um i think it's a bit unusual to get a third um, flowering but it's the weather's definitely turned quite autumnal um, and quite often uh, days of autumn can feel like days of spring and maybe the, the plants are just getting a little confused certainly a lot of the buds are swelling or appear to be swelling where I've been pruning back to try and keep the tree compact and um, what's the word uh, compact and back budding we are definitely seem to be getting buds that are popping um, so I could get a second flush I guess a lot depends on when the first frost hits it could do more damage but being as um, I'm in the southwest of England we don't have terrible frosty weather we do get some frosts it's true but uh, we're a little bit spared some of the the cold weather that uh, people get up north up north as some like to say but anyway if it does flower i will be sure to try and get a shot of it for you so it's the first of november and uh the wisteria here is beginning to turn um, what I thought was going to be a flower bud turned out to be just a regular shoot um, but I shouldn't be too disappointed uh, it was well, very unusual to get a third flush of flower so um, I'm going to take a few bits of wire off of this tree because um, 
it is now in danger of cutting in, although I doubt very much that this tree is going to do very much more growing. I, just the fact that it's still largely green in November is unusual enough, but uh, according to the, the weather people, the weather people, the um, the weather forecaster on the radio this morning, um, the weather is going to take a turn for the colder from this week onwards, so uh, more back to normal, I guess. So, what am I going to do? Uh, first of all, I'm going to remove some of this moss from around the bottom of the trunk. Uh, I don't want that to sit wet and uh, rot the trunk away. I will be cleaning most of the moss off the top of this trunk. Uh, top of this pot, rather. But I won't... Um, subject you to watching me do that for however long that's going to take, quite a while probably, but uh, that already shows um, a nice, a nicer bit of taper actually, so I'm really quite pleased with the the taper on this trunk, um, pop my little bicycle back in, just because it's fun. Um, but then if we move out again, I feel that the tree has grown too much in this direction and I just want to cut back a couple of pieces. Um, this piece, for example, is very long and very straight and I don't like it too much, so I'm going to cut that back like so. And that new fresh piece I also don't like. Um, so I'm going to cut that back and this piece also um, like so in fact I'm tempted to bring that back further I say tempted I say I am going to bring that back a little further um, I think that's better. I think that gives the tree a slightly more balanced look. It, it doesn't look quite so much as if it's going to topple over that way. Cause for concern to a certain extent, and maybe this is um, normal. I've only been growing wisterias for a couple of years, but I seem to have an awful lot of swollen buds. Um, let me again zoom in on that. For example, a bud there, my finger helps highlight it a little better, um, quite swollen. If it was the spring, I would say the buds are breaking. Uh, but of course it's not spring. We're rapidly descending towards winter rather than spring. So I'm a bit concerned that if we do get any sharp frost, um, these buds are going to die back. But there's not much I can do about that. I will probably put it in my shade house over winter just for a little bit of um, protection from uh, cold winds and whatnot. But uh, other than that, it'll just have to take its chances and we shall see. Let me know if you have any experience of growing wisteria, whether this is normal for this time of year and whether indeed I have anything to worry about. So there we have it, uh, quick 360 as usual. And that just leaves me to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Do all the usual YouTube things, liking, commenting, subscribing. As I say, if you know anything about these buds, let me know down below. But most of all, stay safe everybody.